Hi, Cancers. This is your June love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so let's see what messages the universe has for you, Cancers, for the month of June. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancers? All right, so the first card that came out is the Wheel of Fortune. This card has been very popular. I'm trying to see what other sign got this card and where it flew out of the deck. I think it was their first card. It could have been Gemini. So if you're dealing with the Gemini, go and watch that reading because their first card, I believe it was Gemini, that flew out of the deck was the Wheel of Fortune. So there are some changes that are coming for you, um, Cancers. It is good, okay, because it's not reversed. The card is in the upright. And not only is some... Wow, these three cards just flew out of the deck. Okay, so there are some changes coming with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? It's fate, it's destiny, it's meant to be. There's a cycle that's ending, but there's also a new cycle that's beginning. Now, it could be where something ended with you and another person. You were separated from this person for quite some time, and they may be coming back around now. We also have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Three of Wands. So you've been waiting for someone to come back around. If you're waiting for someone, they're coming, okay? There's going to be a fresh start and a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like also some of you are very abundant and very prosperous in something that you're doing, something that you're working on. And with the Two of Cups, there's going to be a lot of wish fulfillment, okay? Some of you could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have uh, Earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and um, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for some of you, okay? Uh, okay, before I can even shuffle, King of Pentacles, yeah, there's an Earth sign here that some of you are dealing with, okay? This person is going to come back in and try to tell you or show you that they've changed because they don't want to... Um, it's like they no longer want to give up on this connection. Now, they could have told you before that things were over between the two of you, but I feel like they've had a change of heart. Your cards are flying out of the deck. Somebody has something that they want to say to you. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Hermit. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Someone's hanging on to you. They're deciding that they don't want to let go. Now, this person could have tried to let go of you before. And maybe you wanted to work things out. But now things are changing. I feel like the tables are turning here. It could be a Virgo that some of you are dealing with with the Hermit. And I feel like the reason why things are changing is because your person has some time to think, okay? They went into hermit mode. They could have separated from you at the time. Um, and they they were doing a lot of uh, introspection within themselves. You know, just trying to figure out what it is that they want. And I feel like this person came to the conclusion that they don't want to have a missed opportunity with you. Because you were trying to offer love to them and they just couldn't see it. Okay, they weren't thinking about it. They weren't focused on it. And it could have been because of a third party situation that they were looking at. What messages do you have for cancers? Okay, yeah. All right. So we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody walked away from you, but now they're juggling. And I feel like they're juggling another person, but they're also juggling a thought process here. Um, somebody is wondering, like, did they do the right thing? I feel like they've had some time to think on things and they're, they're thinking like, you know what? I didn't make the right, the, the, um, the right decision. I can even talk thanks to Mercury retrograde. Someone is realizing that they didn't make the right decision here with you, Cancer. Okay. They may have walked away from this connection, but now they want to come back. This person could have reached out to you already. And if they haven't, they will. That's a, it's a lot of that going on, though. But, you know, that's what happens when Mercury retrograde comes around. We have the Three of Swords here. So someone cut you off. We have the Ten of Swords. They betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. And then we have the Eight of Wands. All three of those cards are flipped up. So let's just talk about it. All right. Could be an air sign for some of you. A Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Okay. With the Queen of Swords. But then we have the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So this there was a burden here. This person felt a burden when they walked away from you or when they cut this off. For some of you, this person could live at a distance, okay? Um, and if that's the case, someone may be trying to come and travel. I mean, they may be trying to come and see you. They may need to travel to do so. Also, I'm picking up the energy with this Ten of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius for some of you. 
they're trying to make a decision on whether to stay where they are with someone else or to come towards you. I'm also picking up the energy that whatever they have to walk away from is not going to be easy because it's posing as a burden. Something stressful. They could be um, walking away from a family situation where there's kids involved, a marriage or something to that nature. I'm also picking up the energy that somebody here was supposed to get married or they were engaged to someone and they broke off the engagement because they want to come towards you. And I feel like you don't know that yet. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why, who this is for, but I'm picking up the energy that someone gave someone a ring, but now they're wanting to retract that energy because they're realizing that they want to be with you. But they feel like it's going to be a lot of drama, issues and problems to walk away from the situation because they already proposed to somebody. Somebody did something out of um out of anger. It's like they were mad at you or you were mad at them or you guys got into an argument. Somebody did something out of anger and now they're regretting it. We have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, they want to work on things. The knight of swords, I'm telling you guys, you cannot make this up even if I try. The knight of swords is someone rushing back in to tell you like, no, don't leave. Don't walk away. I know I said I didn't want this anymore, but I changed my mind. I've had time to think about it. And they want to have something more with you. It's like now they want to put in the work with this Eight of Pentacles and this Knight of Swords. Someone is rushing in to let you know how they feel. It's like they're going to tell you exactly what's on their heart and what's on their mind. And I feel like this person may have been hang, um, holding back or hanging on to someone in the past. I feel like you may have told this person, like, go ahead and be with that person from the past. And they're like, well, wait. <laughs> like, I don't want to be with them. I don't think I want to be with them. And you're like, no, go ahead. And that's when things came into realization. Things became very clear for them. Because we had the Ten of Pentacles. It was a family situation for somebody. They could have even been married because the Empress is here. But I feel like this person is realizing your worth. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. We have Taurus energy here as well. But with this Empress card, I feel like you let somebody know. Like, I don't even care if you walk away anymore. Like, I'm tired of fighting for something by myself you felt like you were fighting for this connection on your own and this person wasn't putting in any energy or effort and i feel like now that you're pulling back your energy they're wanting to give more effort and more energy spirit what messages do you have for cancers okay so we have the five of wands we have the nine of cups and the moon so someone was hiding their feelings. You could have been dealing with the Pisces, but now they see you as wish fulfillment. They're wanting to offer you something. But you know what? Also, I feel like this person knows that they have competition. So some of you could have walked away from them to go towards someone else, or maybe they walked away from you and you're like, okay, well, go ahead because I have someone else in mind. <laughs> so like, I really don't care if you walk away from me. They're not used to this energy. Whatever you're giving to them right now or whatever you're showing them, Cancers, they're not used to it. This person is used to you chasing after them or they're used to you trying to make this connection work and you're not doing it anymore. And it's frustrating this person. It's like sort of pissing them off but intriguing them at the same time, if that makes sense. It's like because now they know that they don't have you where they used to have you and now they have to work hard to get you back. Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? And we're going to pull some message cards and see what your person is feeling and thinking. Okay, something fell on the floor. Give me one second. Sorry about that if I shook the camera. All right, yeah, so we have the Hierophant here. This card fell all the way under the table. All right, so definitely Taurus energy here for some of you. This person, they either were married or... And they're walking away from a commitment because it's no longer working. Someone was with someone because um, of codependency. They weren't happy. And they're finding out that their happiness lies with you. But they're in a, a, a whole like committed situation or a marriage or something. But I don't feel like this person is happy in that situation because we have the seven of wands. So they're very guarded. I feel like if they're living with someone, whoever this person is that they're living with, it's like the household has been disrupted seriously they may be pushing this person away they may be thinking about you but they're they're living with someone else and thinking about you i don't know who this is for but this is somebody's energy that's coming up here where your person is living with a partner they could have kids with this partner but they're thinking about you we have the nine of wands 
and we have the four of wands so there's a marriage somewhere here but there's stability that this person wants and they want it with you it's like they don't care about they don't care about being codependent on someone anymore. They don't care about having that family. And I hate to say that because I feel like children are definitely involved. But it's not the children that they don't care about. It's like they don't want to be with this person anymore because they're not happy. They want to be with you, but they can't just up and leave. It's not that easy. And it's like they want you to be understanding. And you're like, no, I've waited long enough. Some of you are like, you're no longer waiting for this person to see because you have your guard up with the nine of wands. And if this is not you feeling this way, Cancers, flip and reverse the roles as need be, okay? So everyone's situation is going to be different. Some of you are definitely dealing with the fire sign here. There's a lot of wands coming up in this reading. You're either dealing with a fire sign or someone is definitely um, about to take action or they've taken action already. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancers? Okay, those two wanted to flip out of the deck. So we have the Three of Swords here, and we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody is heartbroken. They definitely want a reconciliation with you. Can't make it up. Six of Cups, Three of Swords. They feel like you're leaving them out in the cold, or you feel like somebody is leaving you out in the cold, um, and you're disappointed in this person. Because I feel like you guys talked about something, you were planning things together, and then you feel like things just stopped. There was a halt things weren't moving forward but now this person's coming back around with the six of cups all right so let's get some message cards and let's see what your person is feeling and thinking and let's see what their next move is going to be and possibly why they walked away from this connection to begin with but i feel like some of you already know why this person walked away spirit what messages especially if they ghosted you if this person ghosted you we're going to definitely get some messages on them cancers and let's see what's going on with their feeling and thinking all right, so the first two cards we have is cheating. My person made me cut you off. I got caught. Yes, listen, I'm telling you, I was picking that energy up because I said this person has a family for some of you and they got caught. Maybe their person went through their phone or they just, you know, had some sort of sense that something was going on behind their back. And then we have narcissism. I like to play mind games to make you miss me. So someone... It's like they want you to miss them, but I feel like things are turning on them. It's like whatever type of game they were trying to play, you didn't go for it this time. But they're not happy where they are, for sure. Can't, okay, I can't even talk for these cards. Start flipping out of the deck. I thought the grass was greener on the other side. Yeah, somebody walked away from a situation and they thought that they were replacing you. But now they're realizing that they're not. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What is their person feeling and thinking? What does their person want them to know? Why did they walk away from the situation? Spirit, what does cancer's person want them to know? What are they feeling and thinking? Okay. All right, so we have four here. We'll take them. We have immature. I was trying to impress my friends by showing them I didn't care. I didn't want to appear weak to them. So someone was trying to show off for friends or family members, you know, and they walked away from a connection because someone was telling them, you know, not to get involved with you or not to get serious with you. And they listened to this person and they shouldn't have. And then we have intervention. Your guys intervene to protect you from this person trust this ending and let it go for now so yeah the universe is telling you for some of you to let something go for now because it's going to come back around to you because we had the world card starting off your reading okay so if you let this go for now and focus on yourself this person's going to continue to come in anyway you're not going to take a loss here cancers then we have twin flame your guides want you to know they're your twin flame and they need time to grow give them time to reflect and change and then we have unavailable you gave me no other choice but to ghost you. I said what I needed to say, but you weren't accepting it. Okay, so for some of you, this person may have told you what they wanted at the time. You didn't want that. So it's like you tried to hang on to this person and they walked away anyway. And then with this twin flame card, it says this person needs time to grow. So someone is not what you need them to be right now, but they don't want to lose you. So they're coming back in regardless but they may not um they may not have worked that on themselves. They may not have changed cancer. So be mindful of that. Let's see what else comes out here. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancer? What does their person want them to know? 
Then we have fear. I felt things were moving too fast and I panicked. I wasn't in the space to handle anything heavy. Yeah, because they couldn't leave that other situation. They knew in order to have some, I feel like this person was promising you things. Maybe you guys were talking about moving together, okay? Living together in the same space. Um, maybe you were talking about traveling. Whatever you were talking about doing, I feel like you were all in and so was this person at one point in time and then they got caught, okay? And that's when they pulled back from this situation. But now they still want you. Things have not changed. They still want you. They're just in that situation that they're not happy in. All right. So we have, I didn't feel challenged. I got bored. It was a little too easy for me and immature. I'm stubborn and set in my ways. I ran because I couldn't have it my way. I fear not being in control. So someone wants control over this situation and you weren't letting them control you. And then we have, I was afraid of your reaction, so I decided to avoid the confrontation. I feel like someone wanted to be honest and tell you the truth, but they didn't know how you were going to react. So they felt it was easier to just walk away and ghost you. All right, so let's get a couple more cancers. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What is their person feeling and thinking? All right, so we have differences. I changed my mind about our relationship. I decided to go in a different direction. Insecurity. I thought you were involved with someone else. I didn't want to compete for your love. And then we have careless. I didn't see your worth until it was too late. You didn't deserve that. Would you forgive me? I'm telling you, this person wants to come back. I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. It's like they did a lot here. They did a lot to sabotage this situation, but they're not happy where they are and they're not content and they're not just going to let things go like that, Cancers. Even though they were the cause of things falling apart here, someone is definitely coming back around. They're hoping you take them back. They're hoping that you don't reject them. But for some of you, this person is still in a situation. They want to walk away from it. They just don't see how because it's, it's not going to be easy. They're going to have to actually get themselves out of that situation first and then come towards you. And I feel like even though they're coming towards you because you're where the love is at, their security and their stability may be with someone else, but there's no love there. So now they're trying to make up their mind where they do they want to go where the love is or do they want to stay where their security? Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.